Assalamu alaikum. My name is Fada and I'm a junior at Reading Hope High School and an Asiatic intern. The Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, said, He is not a believer whose stomach is filled while a neighbor to his side is hungry. We as the FNC have tried to remember this teaching in 2019. On Martin Luther King Jr. Day, Last year, 30 of us went to Lombard and NC to distribute hot food, blankets, and grocery boxes to 300 residents. Planet was MLK Day took a lot of hard work, dedication, and time. And as it out, we had lots of support to accomplish this event, including Carolina Calvary, local Girl Scouts, Islamic Center of Lumberton, and Rosen County Library. Dr. King once said, why should there be hunger and deprivation in any land, in any city, at any table, when man has the resources and scientific know-how to provide all mankind to the basic necessities of life? There is no deficit in human resources. The deficit is in human will. Zia volunteers definitely had the will and worked together to make our lumbers and neighbors feel a little bit better when they're located. and I am part of the God Foundation and NCC board. The Elmo distribution not only helped the beneficiaries, but also taught the volunteers of the units. For one, we realized we could make a lot, much larger impact if we worked together with other organizations. Carolina Calvary helped supply the groceries, which allowed us to get blankets, diapers, sanitation items, and also sponsor warm food for over 300 people. Secondly, it taught us to be more organized and efficient in our tasks. We had to be organized both in our assembly line and packing our bags and in the car distribution line and decided who would be packing the warm meals to who and to who we would hang out the blankets. And finally, this experience taught us to be more generous uh, with our time. It is a lot easier to go to our local group and to get help. Uh, it's a whole different story when we go to travel four hours away and give up our whole weekend knowing we have to go straight to school or work the very next day. But we knew Overton was a city in which 70% of the residents are under the poverty line and it was a city in need. Even though it took a whole weekend to help our neighbors, the Durham and Robeson County felt close together as neighbors, as neighbors took care of our fellow North Carolinians. Thank you.